I've been contacted by a reader this week who has made an insurance claim following water damage caused by adverse weather, only to find that the response from the insurance provider is, sorry, your claim is rejected because it was not caused by a storm. Now the question she now asks me, is that correct? Can the insurer really decline my claim just because it apparently wasn't caused by a storm? And in fact, I should say this, her view is it was a storm. Now the legal position is this, first of all, you would look at what the terms and conditions say of the particular insurance provider. Now here, this provider's terms clearly say they will not um, cover damage unless indeed it was covered by a storm. And you then look at what the definition of storm is and it says it's a level, a storm is something which has wind involved at a strength of a level, at least a level 10 on the Beaufort scale. Now the Beaufort scale level 10 is basically 55 to 63 miles per hour, so pretty strong wind. Question now is, is that lawful? Their terms and conditions say that, but can they actually get away with it? Now they think they can, that's the insurance providers, because lots of them do this. But I can tell you that the Financial Ombudsman Service, which is where you would take your complaint if you had to complain about your insurance policy, often says no. Often its view, which it shares with me, because my view is the same, is that it doesn't have to be a particular strength of wind. Uh, the more important test is, what was the weather uh, event in the vicinity of the property at the time of the damage? Was it severe? Did that weather actually cause the damage that is now subject of the claim? And finally, uh, were there any other contributing events? So for example, was it just wear and tear? Are we talking about a house which is hundreds and hundreds of years old with a very, very old roof and therefore the leak was more down to wear and tear than the storm? Or was there a maintenance issue? So one of the common ones the insurance companies pick up on is if you had cleared your gutters, it would have the rainwater would have soaked away, the damage would not have been caused. These are the more important things to look at. So what I'm saying is this, you don't just look at was it a storm, was the wind blowing at 50 odd, 60 odd miles per hour, that's too primitive. You look far more beyond that. So when the insurance providers, as in this case, come out and just deny your claim based on the fact that it doesn't meet their definition, uh, that's wrong. Um, if your insurance provider does that, the next thing you should do is go to the Financial Ombudsman Service. And as I say, they will look at um, more questions as I've just outlined. If you take that route, my advice is to do the following. Number one, get evidence online of what the weather was doing on the day that you say the damage was caused. If it was water damage, for example, how hard was it raining? How much water um, was there with the rain? Normally you'll, you'll see this in, in millimeters, for example. If it was due to wind, how windy was it? Get all of the evidence and present that with your claim and make sure that you have shown that the weather was severe and that it was severe in the area around your house. Many times when insurance claims are denied or financial ombudsman says no, it's because the weather was severe, but it can't be pinpointed as being in the vicinity of the consumer's property. So it's important that you show that. The next thing is, did that weather actually cause the damage? Get some evidence of that as well. Maybe get a local tradesman to come in, have a look and confirm to you, no, that wasn't wear and tear. No, there were no maintenance issues here. Whatever you would have done, this would have been caused because of that weather. If you can get this evidence together, I have no doubt about it, your claim will be successful, whether it's with the insurance company or via a claim to the Financial Ombudsman Service.